Hello everyone, this is Olsan. Welcome back to another UIP tutorial. Today we will continue to implement our reframework project, which is IMDB Movie Search. And last time we have implemented initialization state where we configured our uh, initial applications workflow and also uh, kill all process workflow. I think it is here. Yeah. So here we have configured kill all process workflow and after that here we have implemented initial applications workflow where we uh, read our movie list from the IMDB website as you can see here uh, using data scraping and then uh, after that we have added all the movies to the uh, orchestrator queue while we are using add queue item we have added movie and the url to the uh, queue so we are going to get them inside the get transaction data and continue from there so today's topic is to implement get transaction data state right after adding all the items here in initialization state uh, we are having this queue so sorry we have these transactions in our queue so one by one we need to get them and we need to also get that data inside the uh, queue item which will be movie name and the url of that movie name so let's do it um, let me get back to studio here i need to click on get transaction data so here i have this breakpoint actually let me remove it okay so here as you can see I will be giving that uh, transaction uh, number here which is indicating how many items or which item I am currently processing actually and inside the get transaction data state I am going to get Q item and assign them to the Q item variable which is this transaction item also there are some other fields that we can use for example we have transaction field 1 and transaction field 2 so I can also pass those values into these fields and if you are working with I don't know identification number or PO number or license or license number you can use also transaction ID uh, variable let's go into that workflow okay here I will be getting the transactions one by one from where from orchestrator queue folder and actually our queue name will be orchestrator queue name those two values actually um, stored inside the config file here we are using also config dictionary so I will be opening the config file and as you can see here it's IMDB movies which is let's see uh, this one the name of the uh, queue and also currently I am working in the shared workspace therefore I need to also put the name of shared workspace as a queue folder so yeah let me save it and here after that I will have this transaction item if it's not nothing that means if I have a transaction to process I am going to get that item details here so for example maybe we can use those two fields to be able to pass our values to the process state so let's do it for that I will use to be able to make it visible to you maybe I can first start with a sign and say okay getting movie name and and also getting movie URL okay so on the left hand side let me call it movie name and for this I am going to get from where from my transaction item so here I am getting that transaction item from where from my queue so it is going to get one of the item from the queue uh, which contains those two values and here as the output of this get transaction item uh, activity I am storing it inside this uh, transaction item variable so here I am going to get here our transaction 
item this is my q item actually so inside that let me see there should be some kind of property called specific content and here i will get what movie so how can i know what i am going to put here it's simple actually once you open your q item this is the name of that uh, actually key so i am trying to access this specific data area which is the specific content then i am getting this movie and also the url keys from that specific data dictionary actually it's a dictionary by the way so here if we delete this and if we check this one as you see it's a dictionary uh, so it is storing the data inside of that specific content as a dictionary value so here i will say movie and of course to string and similar to this one if i want to get url i am going to say that i will all transaction item and specific content again and this time i am going to get url it should be uppercase i believe because it's like that so yeah this is the url and after this one i am going to assign these values to the transaction fields one by one actually for the first one we can say let's assign movie name and this for the second one we can assign url actually we can also use transaction item object itself and then we can pass it to the process state then we can continue like that but in this case i want to use these uh, additional fields so i am going to pass those values into those two transaction field okay so right after this i think we are done with this uh, get transaction data part so maybe we can check what we have done before going into process state okay so i will maybe have some message box okay we are going to process some of our uh, q items here to be able to show you guys how we can read them so here i will say transaction field one to string and transaction field two to string to string okay so here we are getting data from q and we will continue to process maybe in the next video i will stop here actually but let's see if it is working or not so to be able to make it faster maybe we can uh comment this section so let's see what is going to happen debug and let's also take a look on what is going to happen with this uh, transaction item okay now as you see it says the Shaoshang redemption and yeah it is the actually URL of that movie and also here maybe we can use watch pane for that transaction field one Shaoshang redemption and transaction field two the URL of that movie let's check also this URL together so our movie page detail page and also let's check our queue let me refresh it and as you see it says in progress so we are right now processing this item that's why it is saying that it's in progress once we finish it it will be like failed or uh, successful right after the process state which will be our next topic for the next video so yeah i think for now that will be all for uh, this video uh, i try to simply show you how can we read transaction item from the queues that we have created actually uh, in the next video we are going to process those values and we are going to open movie page and we will be getting some info from there so yeah i think this will be all for today and see you in next video bye for now